We've been invited by businesses from across North America who have demonstrated extraordinary grit, courage, and commitment to their community, who really need some help in keeping their businesses from the brink of collapse. So together, we're traveling across the continent, virtually and in person locally, to help transform and revive these businesses, not just for the business owner, not just for their industry, but for their community. No small feast, Mike and I, uh, we, we met, actually we started at the same restaurant on the same day, uh, it would have been about 14 years ago. We were asked to, to cater a party for his cousin's boss. I'll never forget running down to the basement, Mike and I just kind of looked at each other. We high-fived and we had that feeling of elation, you know, getting that entrepreneurial spark. Dragonfly Meeting Solutions is a conference, meeting, live event, incentive travel, logistics management company. As of March, that entire live event industry went out the door. My whole family works in the business. My wife and my two kids. Our number one goal right now is to get to the starting line. Like to make it through this, when things reopen, we'll be ready, whatever that looks like. But, you know, the idea of going down or without a fight is not an option. Are you ready for some tough love? Bring it. We encounter this with clients all the time. What you said, Matt, was no one is doing this. Everybody's doing this. Don't get wrapped up in your own stuff. Every, do you know how many options we have at home for meals right now? Failure is not an option. So we hear that it's a romanticized notion, but I, I'm, I'm struck with you know, this huge, beautiful facility that you made a big investment into right as the pandemic hit. Two of the most common characteristics I see with entrepreneurs are courage and perseverance. You have both of those mm -hmm. and that's great. When you combine it with vision, that's where you really see success. At a time when communication is so critical, you have an, an easy out there was to say, okay, you're gonna address your entire organization at a really critical time to deliver a really important message, and what happens? Your dog starts barking. <laughs> your two-year-old kid walks in the room. This is how you wanna lead your organization? Come on, we can make you look professional here. There's some organizations that may be feeling like they've got a bit of cash and a little bit guilty. I would be going to them and going, how about taking some of that money and feeding some hospitals instantly? Where do I find affluent, guilty people? <laughs> Alison Chambers, yeah. she's right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Well look, my guess is, is that you have clients and customers who you worked with before and they've got to be your first step. So who do they, are they them or who do they know who are them? All right, I think that is a lot of uh, food for thought for our business owners. I'm sure you hear that all the time. <laughs> First time. <laughs> thank you to our experts and thank you to Matt and Mike. Between the last discussion and today, I think we've really narrowed it down to a, a few key elements. I need to let go of what was and I need to embrace what our new business model is going to be in the future. This has just been an amazing process though.